Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy Nathan with Inspire Automotive and uh, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another awesome project video. For this project, it's a very special project that I've been working on for a long time. Actually, not very long. It's only been a week or so. I wanted to do something out of the box, like something pretty crazy, right? So I had this idea. What if I designed a concept car for Tesla without their permission, of course, and then if I design it good enough that it might get their attention and they might actually build it? Who knows, you know? Who knows? And I don't know, maybe? Who knows? You know, you never know. So I began to think, like, what's new with Tesla? And you know what? That Cybertruck is, is the real deal. I, I really like that design. The front rake of the windshield is pretty sweet, man. That, that's pretty sweet. That's a sweet car. Anyhow, how about I design a Tesla Cyber Sedan? A sedan version. Four doors, a rear hatch, but it has the same rake as the Cybertruck. How about that? Well, I mean, I have a lot of free time. I like doing a lot of uh, out of the box ideas that don't necessarily make me money and that's why I'm broke. I'm gonna show you guys the design of it and we're gonna build the plug and see what it looks like as a full scale model. Because you know what? When you wanna get the attention of people, you know, you want people to see your design in real life, you gotta have a full scale model in order to do so. If you come to someone with a drawing or, or a 3D model and you're telling them, hey, you should produce this car or you should make this car and they're gonna look at you like, ooh, you gotta, you gotta put some work in, cuz. So let's go ahead and look at this model and see what's really good with it. All right, folks, welcome to the inside of my computer. And what you're looking at here is a program called Rhino 3D. And I'm just giving you guys a twirl around of the 3D model that I have of the cyber car. Now, I didn't fully design this car myself. I based this car off of another model, but I also had to rework it and redesign it. So this is it. This is the car plug that we're making. And um, I think it's a very unique design. It has the straight edge front rake that is the same or similar to the cyber truck. So that's what makes it a cyber sedan in my opinion. All right, so I mean, that's the model. That's what we're working with. Let's head out to the shop and uh, let's, let's build the model. Let's go, come on, let's get out of here. Let's get to twerking. All right, boys, here's our sheet for the box stock. We are going to only build up the layers according to the part. And it's just not a square or rectangle box stop. Because that would be very much a waste of space or a waste of material. So we're doing this the most efficient way as well as the least time consuming. Because if you just have a square box stock, one, you're wasting too much money on wasted material. As well as you're going to have to rough out this entire corner here just to get to the surface of the part so this way is a lot more efficient in terms of how much money we spend on material and the time it takes to machine it's a lot easier and in most cases you won't need to run a roughing pass at all just a finishing pass and that's a good thing about doing it this way it takes a little bit more time to set up but what it costs in time building the box stock, it saves exponentially in machine time and money. So let's go ahead and start building this. We gotta get to work, this thing's due tomorrow.
box stock is made up and I have this double-sided tape on the bottom right now it's upside down so you can't see really see how it is but this is what it should look like we're machining the mirrored version of this part so and then if it's mirrored it's gonna be the same as that so so that's where we're at right now and we are just about to load the machine up let's go ahead and load up the machine and see how she twerks Turn on the machine, turn on the computer, there you go. Some of you guys have asked me about this machine that I'm using. And a lot of you guys ask, what, what model is it? What kind is it? So I could buy one and do exactly what you want to do. I, I'm, gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you guys like this. I built the machine, all right? I built the machine. If you guys want one, if you're serious about owning one of these, let me know because I have started a project to turn this, one of these machines, in its form right now, which is very raw, into a more commercial machine that I can build for other people to use. So if you're interested, hit me up, but don't, don't waste my time, all right? You're not going to get this machine for $8,000. $8, you know, $8,000 will cover material, all right? So keep that in mind. However, if you don't have the money to buy one of these from me, what I'm gonna do later on is I'm going to create a set of build plans so that you can build exactly what you see here. Exactly what you see here. However, everything costs money, especially with me, all right? Let's go ahead and set up this machine. We need to set up the X and Y and the Z. Our X and Y are gonna be on the southwest corner of the box stock. That looks about the middle point of that corner. And set each X and Y to zero by clicking the X and the Y. We don't need to be so exact here, but that's gonna be our zero. And all we have to do is load in the G-code files and hit start. It's loading right now and we are set up. That looks correct. We're just gonna lower this to 50 for now. Start. We're gonna go ahead and let the machine do its thing. And uh, we'll be back, we'll check in with it when it's halfway there. The machine is done cutting. And let's just take a quick look inside. Looks good. Let's clean it up and see what we got underneath. Here is the front passenger side of the car. And as you can see, this whole thing is machined like this. This is the box stock. On the profile cut, which is the cutting path that trims the edges around it, because I only have a six inch length bit, that it could not reach all the way. For example, this plane right here would be 10 inches. So all that I can do is cut this edge down six inches with my bit. On the lower levels of the box stock, and you can see the levels right here. Here's, the, here's 10 inches, here's eight inches, and here's six inches. This surface right here is six inches on the box stock. So somewhere around here, I can actually do a full cut around the edges with my six inch length bit. Eight inches and 10 inches of depth 
I can only cut down six inches from the top of that surface. So that leaves either two or four inches of stock that I have to cut off manually by hand. So that's what I'm doing now. So all of our parts are ready and uh, it's time to go ahead and do a full mock-up of the vehicle. So right now I am just putting in these two guide pieces that are going to sort of form the core or the center of the car. And this is just to align everything and give it a little bit of a structure while we uh, mock everything up. We are looking very good so far. The Tesla Cyber Sedan is coming along pretty great. Before we put on the front windshield and the front bumper, let's go ahead and finish the rear of it. We have there's one small part of the roof. Mm -hmm. Here is the rear face of the Cyber Sedan. And let's go ahead and put it on. Not my favorite part of the Cyber Sedan, but it's gonna have to work for now. Let's make sure that it squares before we put the roof on. We got this 96 and a half. God, God damn it. God, get, God, there you go. 94 and a half. So what we gotta do is, we gotta push this that way. It's all looking absolutely fantastic, boys and girls. Let's put on the front windshield and then the front bumper. All right, folks, we are all done. And here is what she looks like. This is the Tesla Cyber Sedan. What do you guys think? Does it look good? It looks good to me. 
give you guys a quick walk around of the car. Here's the rear. Not my favorite, but it'll work for now. Okay. If you can tell where the, the door lines are, here's one door line and here's the rear door line. And all four doors open up gall wing style, make it a little bit more interesting than your average sedan. I like this feature about this car is that the wheel, the rear wheel sort of tucks in behind the fender and here's the bumper. So only about a portion of the wheel is actually showing at the rear. All right, I'm very happy that this is done. The finishing touches on the Tesla Cyber Sedan. One of these bad boys. Mm-hmm. Now that's what I'm talking about. Every time we get a project done, guess what we gotta do? We gotta get to torquing, baby.